Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome to part 16 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. Last time when we left off, we were about to see what this shadowy figure has to say to us. Alright, today it's rainy, and if you've played many games, you know what rain means. So we're here waiting for our employee to show up. Well, she is a cat girl, maybe she doesn't like rain. Yep, up to now she's never been late or missed work, so Fia's worried. Well, of our always too. Do we know where she lives? Nope, they don't actually know how far she has to come. It might be really far. That might be why she's not here. So after a moment, Fia... ...thinks of something. Thanks for yelling that out. Anyway, I've always got a pretty good idea. And he's right. Theo wants Mikio to live here, in the castle with them. But, uh, you remember Eol? The other girl she lives with? Yeah, she gets to come too. You remember how she's trying to kill Avaro? She's an assassin and all. But Fia has a good point that she hasn't tried to kill Avaro since that last meeting. In any case, Fia and Avaro don't get to decide this. But we can definitely pitch it to Mikeo next time we see her. Okay. She wants to talk to her, so she's going to go check for her. Again. Gee, she's full of energy, isn't she? Well, that's weird. She seems unusually worked up all of a sudden. Well, let's go see. Oh my god. Eel wears white pantyhose. No, wait. Oh my god, Eel is covered in blood. Half Blood Elf. We got introduced, remember? He has a name. Okay, anyway, she's been in some kind of battle. What happened? She doesn't say. But she's tired and starting to cry. Yeah, Fia tried to ask before Avaro got here and didn't get any better response. So, what happened? She's not big on talking, is she? She wants to say something, but she keeps biting it back. Oh, here's something. It's nothing. There is no way this is nothing. Yes, it is. Look, anyway. Oh, Fia's gonna heal you. It's fine. She's fine. And... Unusually... She actually has to get a bit of command power when she's serious. Okay. And Eo thanks her. She doesn't need the thanks, but she isn't done yet, so Yo doesn't get to move until. Okay. Well, we're not getting anything any out of her all too quickly. 
but she must be here to tell us something or ask something of us. So, we've got to enter the right line of questioning in order to get her to spit it out. Or at least spit out something we can, from which we can speculate the circumstances. So let's start by clarifying who calls who what. We get to call her Eel, and she gets to call us Avaro. Wait a minute, you idiot. Look, what happened to Mikayu? She has never been late, and today she doesn't come. If you know something, tell us. Mikayu. Mikayu isn't coming to work. It's not that... <clears throat> Excuse me. Isn't coming or can't come. This makes Eel shiver. Mikayu can't come to work anymore. Is she still alive? Probably. She's probably definitely alive. Oh man. You made us worry. This is good, relatively speaking. But we better get going. Alright, let's go. Whither? Where Mikayu is. If she's still alive, if we can still save her, we can't let this go like that. Why? Something's happened to Mikayu. We know that much. If you, thanks for telling us what you've actually told us. But... We still don't understand the circumstance, so let's hear it a bit better. But, she says, she has nothing to pay us with. What the hell are you talking about? A job for your company. Which is her way of saying that she didn't want to say, I want you to save me, Keiu, because that would be a job for our company and that would commit her to paying for it and she can't. And for this reason she couldn't ask directly. So apparently she thinks that if it's not one of a request of that form we wouldn't do anything. Well you're surprisingly conscientious about that. Assassin. But our employee is in danger. And that is more important than any work we have. So, let's leave the circumstances for now and you get to show us the way. Listen to that awesome hero music. And look at for Eo for her cute little brows. Okay. All right, she's coming. No, oh, the recovery magic is done. Thanks for shutting up for so long, Pia. That was really nice. All right, good timing. All right, let's go, the three of us, and rescue our cute little uh, employee. Thanks, Half-Blood Avaro. Hey, you say it like that, it sounds like half of him isn't Avaro. We lost Mikayu. And we gained Eel. All right, Mikayu. Just you wait, we're going to rescue you no matter what it takes. But first, I want to get a level up.
the character closest to a level up is Karin. You know I'm trying to make this get this level up the right way. Because I consider there'd be right ways and wrong ways of doing it. This is based on my experience with Kamidori. The previous game in this kind of series. The first thing I want to do is bring Kaden up to the cusp of a level up. And then I'm going to exit the stage and... Oh. And then I'm going to exit the stage and start the leveling up process. You see, I made a particular system for doing level ups in Kamidori. It has to do with the random generator and how the random generator refreshes. I believe I showed you in the trial version that if you oh I lost my train of thought oh yes if you do the same action and then pull back to a save right before doing the action do the same action again then the action will remain the same every time And this includes level ups. Gonna? Oops. Hey, I didn't know you could do that with her. Him. Oops. So apparently, summon creatures, if you just decide to stay in one place, they have an extra option where you get to unsummon them right from where they are. I did not know that. Wow. But anyway, I messed up a little bit and now I need to start but over. Let's see, when I kill this I get 3 XP, so I should kill it right now. Oh no, I failed. I guess that means I get to leave here without killing it. Now we're at 99, and we're good. Did I get the red magic stone I needed? Well, I wanted more than that. But it'll work for now. Now to begin the actual leveling up process. Alright, now that we're saved here, we're going to enter the map over and over again, get the level up, record what it is, and if it's a good level up, we save it. And I think I want to do this, oh, let's say 50 times. Now I've done more than that before. Many more than that, actually. 
突撃お友達 I had an automated leveling Automated level up script It's no fun if we get a good level up right at the start But we're going to record this 211101101 So that's two one 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 zero one one zero one. That's the traditional order from the previous games, where speed would go right here between magic defense and luck. All right, good level up. So we save here and load here and do it again. Zero, 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 zero. Let's see, my priority is the primary attack and then luck. So since this, they both had the primary attack, but this one doesn't have luck, this one is lower. After that comes speed, secondary attack, etc, etc. But not good enough. Load. Now, if you simply did this in the out of a save and tried over and over, you would get the same thing over and over again. Because we're doing it this way, however, our level ups are slightly different each time. Now, there's a second way to do this, and that is to save before ending your turn, end the turn, and then get the level up the next turn, but it's not a true randomization. I learned that in Kamidori. And perhaps they changed it in this game, but I rather doubt it. In any case, I believe that this provides a true refresh of the random number generator. That was pretty bad. Back in Kamidori, I made a script that would get a bunch of levels or do other tasks in order to analyze what exactly the odds of any given thing were. I happened to figure out the odds for selling things and posted it in the wiki. And I learned a bunch about level ups, but I never really fully explained that on the wiki because I kind of lost interest in the game at a certain point. Games kind of have lifespans, you know. But anyway, I may as well talk about the leveling up system. Now, when you level up, there's a chance for getting each of these stats. Typically, 0% to 100%. Although there are circumstances in which it will be more than 100%. For instance, Karin here has shown a greater than 100% chance of getting HP, which means he often gets two. In fact, he's gotten two every time so far. Perhaps his rate is straight up 200%. Or perhaps it's 190 or something. Or perhaps it's 205 or something. I've always thought that they prefer to avoid straight 100%s. 
So these odds are rolled every level up. But if you don't get the uh, the stat in question, for instance, we didn't get physical attack this time. If we kept this level up and went to the next level up, he would have a higher chance of getting that stat. In fact, probably it would be double the chance. Well, except I don't know how many level ups it's been since he last got physical attack. Because you can basically say, how long has it been? Multiply it by the rate, and that's your odds of this level up giving it. No, I don't, didn't fully get all the numbers done. But my speculation is that that will run to and over 100%. And if you get run the 100% run, if it got to, say, 105, at that point you could get one or you could get two. If it was one, it would set back down to five and then add the 13 or whatever that you used to be getting. So the next one would be 18%, say. But if you got two, it would reset all the way back down back down to zero, so the next one would be at 13%. Man, I just love explaining these things so much I forget to write down what I need to write down. But it really was cruel giving me that good level up right off the bat. Let's see, compared to the previous one. This is almost the same as the first one. One difference is we have a physical defense instead of a magic attack. But I use magic attack with our with Karin and I'm gonna keep the old one. Good news, this is our tenth level up, so I'm almost this is 20% of the way down. Didn't get luck. It's a wash. Now, how did I determine that the end turn trick didn't truly ran generate a random a new random uh, number? Well, in extended testing, I was able to determine that if you saved, did the end turn thing many, many times, you would get a certain distribution. But if instead of taking the level up there, you exited the stage, came to another stage, and did the end turn thing there, it would have a subtly different distribution. Well, now that can't be right. If the distribution changes, then something was not truly random from that save. So eventually I tried starting in the town and deploying into the new map every time and that did provide a truly random one because I could save it there do a bunch of different things and come back later and the same distribution would result now when I talk about figuring out a distribution my sample size was typically 10,000 times naturally you can't do that manually I programmed a bot to do it. Which was why I was able to figure out that selling formula. I wonder if I'm repeating myself. I mean, this is going to be a while. Oh, 
出撃Oh, another thing I started doing in Kamidori. I started figuring out the distribution for the gathering. Much like this game, it had the earth gathering and the mining gathering. And I started figuring out what the odds of getting any particular material out of any particular box was. It was in the middle of that that I got tired of doing it all. But I was able to figure out that different draw points within the same map would have a different distribution. I think that was in the second map. There were like four drops from herbs and two of them would come from one drop point and two of them would come from the other drop point. Oh, I've gotten to 15. This is number 16, so we're 30% done. Man, it can be so frustrating when you get the good ones right off the bat. This is unusual, but not particularly good. Much like the previous game, luck is very hard to come by. Probably, Karin hasn't gotten a single point of luck since I first acquired him. Although you could go back and check my videos. It's properly recorded somewhere. Yeah, nobody's gonna do that. I think I found in those gathering trials that the gathering dis Oh hey, he only got one hit point. That means his odds are slightly under 200%. Anyway, I think the gathering is set as soon as you hit the gather point. You don't know what you got until the end of the stage, but I think it's set right when you hit it. Hmm... I'm not certain about that, though. I'd have to check my logs. Oh, you should see my logs. Would you like to read 10,000 lines? They all read like... 211 Oops. I'm talking about interesting things and not paying attention to what I'm doing. Anyway, my log files. Hmm. This one. This one is got a physical defense where the first one had a magic defense. Yeah. Hmm. Magic defense is harder to come by. But this is my main tank, so I may want to keep the physical defense instead. Yeah, let's go with this. Now, one thing that would... One thing that would take priority over 
either of the defenses would be speed, however. And Karn has gotten speed in only four level ups so far. Yeah, he's never going to be fast unless I did this a lot. Well, make that five level ups. Oh yes, on the end of each of these 10,000 sample runs, I would have a... a summary of the results. This is really useful because I sure as hell wasn't going to read 10,000 lines of that. Any more than I was going to do it 10,000 times. I also learned an interesting thing in making strips for this game. In order for the game to catch on to where the mouse is, you actually have to move the mouse under certain circumstances. Basically, if you're moving from one screen to another and you move the mouse to where you know it needs to be before, before the screen actually comes up, it actually won't register. For instance, click here. Now if I keep clicking here on this box here, it won't happen until I move the mouse and it will select. Stupid pointless trivia, right? Oh, hey, we just finished number 25 before this. That was the halfway point. And you know, I found out an interesting thing about this game. It has that hand for when you pan, like a lot of game, a lot of like a lot of programs do. But it's a really ugly hand. I mean, I have a hand in my window settings. It looks a lot better. But this one, this one 
cursor comes with the game and you can't change it. Stupid trivia, right? Alright, that's the 60% mark. Isn't this exciting? I get to flip over the paper. Oh, this is close. But luck will always triumph over speed. Even if Karin is depressingly slow. I think this is straight up the worst level up I've gotten so far. But there is... But there are theoretically worse level ups he could get. Theoretically. I mean, if you were looking for the perfect level up whereby... You get the least stat points. Yeah, if you were really stubborn, you could get a worse one than that. Oh man, this repetition is even starting to get to me. If I weren't on camera, I'd probably take a break right now. Hey, I don't think you guys would mind. You know, if I took a break. I'll be right back. Okay, just kidding. Shoot! 
出撃Hey, that's 40 of them. We are 80% done. This could get a slightly worse if he only got one hit point. Oh man. My ear itches. But I'm wearing headphones, so I can't itch my ear. Oh man, the things I do for you, YouTube. The things I suffer.
出撃Alright, here we go. This is the last one. Can Karin get the perfect level up this time? Let's all believe in Karin. We believe in you, Karin. Show us the perfect level up right here. Ah, ah. Ah, mediocre, bordering on bad. Damn it, Karin, we believed in you. We all believed in you and you let us down. Alright. Now we load the good one. And... You know what, I'm gonna stay in here and actually collect all the... gathering again. Because I want more of those red... Shh. You know, Quentin... One of my commenters told me that I could turn off the... pop-ups, but I can't get these guys to shut up. Anyway. say something and then Fia interrupted me and now I don't remember what it was. Don't you hate when that happens? <sighs> oh yeah, I wanted to get more red magic ore. Also, I want to recover that plant from the tree that stole it from me before. Oops. Ah, uh, no more Hulk Smash. Well, Cotton can handle this. It'll just take a little longer. That'll do us. How about red magic ore? Red magic ore. Great, three more of them. And I'll show you why I wanted that. Oh yes, now that Dio has joined our party, we can make weapons for her. I still haven't made one for Mikayu because it requires the dried plant skins. Which you would need to go to the plant place and kill those giant flower bud looking things. Anyway, I wanted red magic stones for these. These are the red rings that add to your attack power. Yes. Oh, hey. You know what? 
instead of opting for one of these, have a new linkage that I can get here. Yes. And let's take the cheap one. Yes. Yes. I'll try that next time. So, good place for it is right here. Formation. This is the pair formation. It gives me... Looks like... Two accuracy. Adds two percent accuracy to all my attacks. Bleh. That's kind of lackluster. So just arbitrary everything. If I wanted to make more of these cure medicines, I would want more green grass. But I haven't gone back and gotten any green grass lately. Hmm. I know I'm going to get a new bow and it will require two of those, so I'm going to save those. Yes. Alright, that'll do. Oh, this is interesting. Eel sword, which we made. Two of. Will yield us two earth fragments every time we disassemble one. That means when we try and upgrade it, it will require two earth fragments per upgrade. Ah, nuts. You know, I'm gonna disassemble one of those. But I like having a lot of those attack rings available. Did I ever point this one out? The Mosteria we got... Oh, where did we get that? Uh, did we get it by beating Kisnir at the end of the last chapter? Maybe? Anyway, it's a really good item. And you can see you can upgrade it six times, which will probably add plus two to everything. But it's dreadfully expensive, requiring two holy shards and two darkness shards per upgrade. Alright, now that we've got some... Oh jeez. That's pretty direct. Each time you upgrade this, it adds one more to the attack power. But that's EO for you. I also got a ice shard. On what shall I use the ice shard? Might just keep it. I'm gonna upgrade Eo's weapons. Cause we all love Eo. Hmm. You know, I never noticed this thing, but it might be a good idea to upgrade it. No wait, I did use this before. I equipped it on Mikayu so that she could speed up and hit that crystallized formation. Didn't I? Ah, I'm tired after all that leveling up. I'm just going to think about that later. And... Oh, nuts. I'm sure there was something plot important for me to do, but it's just gone right out of my head. So I guess I'll pick it up next time. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you next... Tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow.